Today we're going to be doing a really fun video. We're going to be using some Crisco shortening, but instead of baking with it, we're going to be making my magic Crisco candle. For our really fun video today, you just need four items. We're going to need Crisco shortening, we're going to need some cord, and this has to be 100% cotton. That's very important. You're going to need a glass or a jar. I'm going to be using a mason jar today. And our last item, I'm going to be using something heavy just to hold down our twine in our mason jar and I'm going to be using a nut. So let's get on with the video. For our first step, I'm going to get my jar. And Crisco, like this, you can use any brand I'm using Crisco. It is a shortening and it has to be a solid shortening like you see here. And I'm just going to start getting this into my jar. And I want my candle not all the way to the top, I want it about down here. So I think that's enough to start off. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to microwave this on the defrost mode until most of it's melted and then I'll come back and just show you. So this is about three minutes later on the defrost mode. You can also use regular mode if you wish to make it go a little bit faster. But I want it to control the melt a little bit more so I use the defrost mode. So you can see most of it has melted. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just to show you this a lot closer up. Now that I've zoomed in, you can see the difference between shortening that has not melted yet. You can see that it's still in a solid form here. And then we've got the liquid at the bottom. So hopefully the camera picks that up. So that's almost done. I can see that I'm going to add a little bit more of this just to get the level up a little bit more. So I'm just going to heat this a little bit more, add a little bit more to it, and then I'm going to come back. So we're right out of the microwave for the last time and now you can see that our Crisco shortening is completely melted. And we are ready for our next step. So for that I'm just going to zoom out. For my last step we have our butcher's twine. This is 100% cotton. That's very very important. I'm going to grab the end and all I want to do is just tie the little nut onto the end. I'm going to grab some scissors and I'm just going to clean this up. So basically what this little nut is doing is it's going to provide us with some weight on our little piece of string or wick in this instance. So I'm just going to drop that down and you can see it just pulls the wick or the our nice cord right to the bottom. And then I can just place that where I want it. I'm going to use a little skewer. I'm going to wrap that around a few times. So this is basically candle making 101, but we're using Crisco shortening. Once I know the length, I'm just going to cut this piece off. And there we have it. And that's basically it. So what you want to do, you can leave it like this or you can put it into the fridge. If you leave it on your counter, it's going to take many, many hours. If you take it like this and put it either into your fridge or if you're in a really, really big rush, you can put it into the freezer. So at this point, I'm going to pop this into my freezer until the shortening becomes solid again. And that's the magic of this, that shortening becomes solid when it's cold or liquid when it's hot. So I'm going to pop this into my freezer, let it freeze down, and then I'll come back. So here we are again. This is about an hour and a half later. My Crisco shortening has completely solidified, so we're ready to try out our candle. So I'm just going to remove the little barbecue skewer. And then here's our little wick. And I'm just going to cut off oh, right about to there. And now we'll light it up and see how it works. And there we have it. So I'm going to turn off all of my studio lights and we'll zoom in and then we're going to see how nice the candle looks. So I've zoomed in and turned off all of the studio lights so that we can get a better look at our really nice candle. And while we look at our really nice candle, one thing that holds true for this type of candle or for any type of candle, if you start noticing any type of smoke coming off the candle, just blow it out and trim your wick. 
and you'll get a smoke-free flame just like you see here. This candle will last you what seems like forever. It just goes and goes and goes. This was a really fun video for me to make. A totally different way to use Crisco shortening. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. That's it, and I'll see you next time.